What is going on everybody? Rocky Mountain EDC here and today I have a quick knife video on the Benchmade bug out. Again, if you notice with the title of this video, there's a question that's proposed and that is, is the Benchmade bug out worth the hype? Again, the Benchmade bug out is not a new knife. This knife has been around for a se several years now. And it has had enough time to establish itself. And if you've noticed whether you love this knife or hate this knife, it is a divisive knife in terms of there are some people that love it or there are individuals that hate it. I am going to talk about my personal opinions today and whether or not the bug out lives up to the hype. So again, there are plenty of videos out there reviewing this knife, talking about its specs, looking at even its durability. That is gonna be a very interesting talking point regarding this knife. Again, part of why a lot of individuals do not like this knife is the fact that Benchmade asks for a pretty hefty price on a knife that uses essentially plastic handles. Okay, so this version of the bug out is the CF Elite. So these composite handles are actually uh, carbon fiber embedded. So they are hypothetically tougher than the um, traditional or classic uh, scales that are seen on the Benchmade bug out. So if you look at the uh, blue bug out handle versions or the OD green slash forest green handles, those are gonna have the regular composite handles on them. This is the CF Elite. And again, the purpose of the CF Elite was to fix the ever present problem in the Benchmade bug out, and that is the flexing the handles, okay? And again, these are very stiff, okay? So these are not easy to flex, okay? Here, here's my gripe with a lot of individuals harping on the Benchmade bug out and the fact that the original scales are a little flexy, okay? What are you using your knife for? And what is the purpose of the knife that you are using? In this case, the Benjamin bug out. Not advertised as a heavy duty folder. Again, not trying to act as if it is a Benchmade freak not trying to propose itself as a bench, as a Spyderco Paramilitary 2, not trying to be a Buck 110 folder, not trying to be a Gerber 06 Fast. This is the Benchmade Bug Out. It's meant to be light, it's meant to be efficient and a reliable everyday folder. If I had the traditional or original Benchmade bug out in the blue or <coughs> OD green handles, would I be necessarily placing this knife in between two blocks of wood and then standing upon it and expecting it to hold my weight. No, that is not what any knife I would expect to do. I don't care how heavy duty the knife is. 
That is not the purpose of a folding knife. Granted, for that matter, not even the purpose of a fixed blade. So again, the Benjamin Bug Out has got a lot of flack for the fact that it is, quote unquote, weak. And I would say, what are you using your knife for that is promoting it as weak? A knife is intended to cut things and to slice objects and to be reliant. So again, the Benchmade Bug Out is very thin profile behind the edge and made from a pretty decent steel, S30V. Very reliant, very all around good steel. The handle material, yes. In this case, it is the CF Elite version. And there are other versions. If you do not like the plastic you feel, you could feel free to get the either carbon fiber or aluminum versions in this knife with a little upgraded steels in those versions as well in either S90V or M390. So again, is this knife going to be perfect for EDC in my opinion? Yes. Is it worth the hype? Yes. Is it overpriced? Perhaps. Yes. Considering the composition of the products, you could find better alternatives. But the Benchmade Bug Out is nonetheless a great knife. Again, the design and the purpose of this knife was meant to be lightweight. It was not meant to be a heavy duty folder. But then again, even what we classify as heavy duty folders, what are we truly doing on those folders that is considered heavy duty? Is it to the point to where we use a fixed blade? If it is batoning or scraping, why would we not have an alternative tool or even a fixed blade for that matter? So again, not to take a certain side, but I do believe the bug out is in its own right worthy of its own height. Again, for what it is, it is perfect for the job. It's lightweight, easily carryable, plenty of cutting edge, decent steel, and is very reliable. So again, anytime you're looking at a knife, especially a folding knife, you have to remember what is its purpose and why was it made? And is it good for you? If you are not looking for a light, thin profile blade, slightly overpriced due to the Benchmade tax, then don't buy this knife. If you are not happy about this knife, do not purchase the knife. But if you enjoy the profile, if you like the aesthetics, if you enjoy the weight of the knife and you like how it is very easily accessible in the pocket, in the hand, then I highly recommend that you buy this knife. It is, in my opinion, worth the purchase and very reliable. It is also very sturdy considering what I use it for in daily tasks. Again, not using it as a crowbar to break into a door, I'm using it as a knife. So it can cut fruit, wood, it can shave, it can scrape, it can cut paper, it can cut tie, zip ties, it can cut anything that I would use a knife for. That is what the Benchmade Bug Out is going to use for as well. So just to kind of Give a little perspective again compared to some other popular knives we have the spiderco tenacious in this case in hcr 13 mov steel black coated and a green g10 handle so very comparable in size and cutting geometry and blade length compared to the spider Tenacious. Compared to the 
Civivi Elementum. Again, it is going to have a little bit more cutting edge and it is going to be re uh, reduced in weight compared to the Civivi Elementum. A little bit of a slightly thinner handle profile and blade profile. But again, if you enjoy the Civivi Elementum, you will find that the blade length, handle length, and the proportion of those two are, are fairly comparable to the Benchmade bug out. Lastly, if we compare the Benchmade bug out to the Benchmade 940, again, the Benchmade 940 is going to be just a little bit longer, going to have more cutting edge, a little bit longer of a handle um, compared to the Benchmade 940. And then the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. Again, very comparable in terms of cutting edge. The Spyderco Paramilitary 2 is going to have a little bit more of handle material and ergonomic profile compared to the Benchmade bug out. But again, very neutral knife, very quote unquote in the middle between a lot of common folders and in my opinion is worth the hype. If you are on the fence about this knife, I would highly recommend if you have the chance or the ability, please go try it in hand see how you enjoy it in hand before you buy it. Don't let individuals sway your opinion. I highly recommend that if you go and try it, if you do not like the feel, then do not purchase this knife. Again, in my opinion, this is a great folder. It is worth the hype. It meets all expectations in my opinion. And again, with anything, always use your own judgment. If you're looking for a heavy duty folding knife, then perhaps you should not look to the Benchmade bug out. If you're looking for a general, reliable EDC folding knife, then the Benchmade bug out is the knife for you, in my opinion. So again, thank you for watching this video. Again, a little bit of a rant. Again, just my opinions. You are entitled to your own opinions and I enjoy hearing other people's opinions as to why they either love knives or hate knives uh, or disagree or agree. So again, no hard feelings, but I do enjoy the Benchmade bug out. So thank you for watching this video. And if you would please subscribe to Rocky Mountain EDC, and it also helps if you give a like to this video as well. Thank you for watching Rocky Mountain EDC. Check it out.